Hello people out there, this is Michael the Tune House Fusion, this is Harry Potter and Chamber of Secrets Playthrough Part 6. <clears throat> Why do I always insist on make myself say the intro there too so fast? Anyway, um Alright, speeding up the hall, look at that so long and boring. What just happened to the audio there? Alright, so, um, yeah, you are temporarily playing as a, um, doyle doppelganger here, Doppel doppelganger here, sorry about that, um, geez, you can move faster when you want to, Goyle, um, there are some differences between Goyle and Harry here, um, I'm pretty sure their, um, athletic abilities are the same, even though Goyle is like two and a half times fatter than Harry is, uh, when you talk to people as Goyle, they will not be as nice to you, and they're like, Ah, oh, Goyle, ah, uh, Goyle, what are you doing here? And, um, stuff like that, and you can't go into the Gryffindor common room. The fat lady will not respond. Uh. Yeah. So, um, down in the dungeons, you can... Like, make funny grunting noises jumping all over the place, and... Yeah, him. Um... Whether or not you actually knew this area was here, this random doorway thing, um, with really not much in it besides, like, a... With like a Scrogeify covered thing and other than that pretty much empty. Um Yeah. What? Those are horkle noises. What are they doing here? Oh whatever. So you can do that. Um It's pretty weird. I don't know, I like that idea with the spinning thing, because you actually go back there later and you make the wall spin again. It's interesting. So you can follow that um, thing down there if you want to. You can also um, stop and collect some stuff and... Whoa, fun with the camera. Um, then you can like do stuff to that and beat up these gnomes for a little while. And why am I not getting spell trace? All right. What happens? What what's happening to the cursor? Ah, uh, enough of that. So, all right, you hit all three of these guys, and the floor will start rising. Come on, floor. Thank you. That's better. And this is back where Harry started, or Goyle started, or whatever. Um, and the walls will move again. It's either the walls or the floor that I don't even know. It's probably both. So here, this is the one save book that I really do think is necessary because up ahead there's a lot of platforming uh, that is I guess not exactly hard but there's a lot of places to die and I still do a lot of dying in a spark coming up uh, try not to do that here And that was not supposed to happen. Alright, you know what? Well, stop that. And these things, um... If you hit these things with Flipendo, they will knock out a staircase to that chest down there. 
But that's never really necessary, so I just skip that. I guess it's okay to skip those cutscenes since they don't even they're not even important. Uh And that's not supposed to happen. Uh, okay, so that is why I said to hit the safe book there. Uh, I suppose I could be editing this out. Note to self. Edit this out. But anyway. Alright, don't fail this time. Thank you. Uh, what's in here? Here I know for fact is a wizard card because I've missed it all the time. Uh, in earlier places of this game. Some green thing too, so it kind of stands out. And um, almost falling off there. So this bridge here, when you step on that button, it will come up again. But because of gravity and nothing holding it up there, um, it will just fall back down again. So, remember that green ectoplasm stuff? Um, yeah, there's a vent up here that if you hit it with Flipendo, then this will happen. It falls so slowly. Um, Alright, so if you want to jump back down and risk falling off some more platforms, you can do that. Or you can just um, hit that Lumos thing. Now the bridge will stay open. So, if you want to make yourself go through that thing again, you can take away all that green stuff and before you cross and make yourself go and do it all over again. But I don't see why you do that, because that's just wasting time and easy ways to die and stuff like that. So... <sighs> Alright, that guard roll does a few things. And... Did the music just stop? Why is that? Um... Can jump down here... I told you there's a lot of annoying platforming coming up in this section. Um... Alright. You, um... Alright, random treasure chest, no wizard card or anything. Um... Uh, random suits of armor... They contain a lot of beans for this game. Usually suits of armor in this game only have like two or three beans. Anyway, don't die. Okay, I thought I really should not have jumped up there anywhere there. And... He's, Goyle sounds like he's getting sad hard when he jumps. Does anyone else notice that? Anyway, here, um, almost ran past it. You want to... Not do that! Alright. Um. Eh. I should not have fallen off there. So. Alright, there's got a wizard card, and. There's got some beans in it and stuff, and. Got to not die all the way back to the top. Alright, patience. And that was probably a little bit, like, riskier than I should have tried, knowing how many times I've already died this video. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, sort of unfortunately I have to go and um, hit the gargoyle again, because this is... This here is not the sort of uh, piece of wall that will stay open after the light on your wand goes out. So, oh well. Mmm... Right here, uh, right where the guy walks away from it, that painting sketch thing. I didn't see what it was. I don't. I think it's actually got something interesting on it, but I, I don't know. Uh, anyway, running back here with all the spiders, and I thought I opened that already because I could have sworn I heard it. Oh, I thought it did open. I don't know. I think you gotta hit it twice anyway. Uh, if you jump all the way over here, um, 
Once you actually get to standing on the edge, then that thing will open. Fun. And... This big giant calm thing. Um, yeah. I like how the Gryffindor calm room is just like... a room, and then the Slytherin calm room is like an entire obstacle course. It's like... weird. Uh... Come on. What's in here? I think this is another wizard card. Yeah. Oh, hey! Two keys! Yay! It's always nice. Volume's a little loud, I gotta turn it down. Uh. Alright, yeah, this room here. Uh, more suits of armor. There's so many suits of armor in this camera room. Sounds like Brian just got home. And. Uh, I think you can actually get knocked off that platform if you stand too close to that piece of wall when it opens. Um. Very funny. And this is just back where we started. So, uh, I don't think there's anything else, any random beans you can get by waving your wand at some banners or stuff. So... Potion ingredients. Um... Oh, quiet. More potion ingredients. I think there's actually cauldrons from around here. Uh, no, there isn't. Um, and there's that big giant book that's on every single table in the school. Um, here, uh, to the left, that's actually the apparently the girls' dormitory, but I don't feel like going there. There's a cutscene that plays if you try to go there. Sure, funny. Uh, I like how slowly Goyle talks. You must have some idea who's behind it all. Alright, that was terrible. Well, this is awkward. Audio failure. Why does that happen sometimes? If you hit a save button... Wow! Yeah, don't do that. He says with a little bit more urgency this time. Okay, yeah, that's what happens if you get caught. Thanks for standing in the exact wrong place for me to not get caught, Red Southern Girl. Um, but anyway, if you can, like, start running, then there's not very much difficulty in actually getting out because... It's not like they run faster than you or anything. That would really be annoying if they did run faster than you.
Ooh, so creepy. Anyway, um, let's see. Speak for yourself. I like how Hermione can just teleport to the top of the Grand Staircase. Anyway, um, I was just wondering. The book seems to suggest that there are other ways of becoming petrified. I wonder how that works. Because I remember from most of the Chamber of Secrets book, there was everyone in the getting petrified, but nobody could figure out why. And that seems to suggest that there are other ways of being petrified. Anyway, um, unfortunately now we gotta go to Lockcraft class. Uh, uh, yeah, sure. Why me? Excuse me while I go. Uh. Oh, when will he learn? Fortunately, this is like the second to last time you really gotta. Well, really, the last time we've got to deal with him, we only see him again for a little bit. Um. Yeah. This is not very interesting. I really should be editing this out, but. I really can't do that if I'm talking through it like this, so why don't I just shut up and... I don't know... I don't even want to start seeing like 100 bottles of coke on the wall again either. Good, it's almost over. Up, right, right, up, down, down, right. Up, right, right, up. Down, down, right. I'm almost getting that wrong, even while I'm looking right at it. I suppose by now it's a little bit late to be speeding stuff up and editing this out and whatever, isn't it? Oh well! <laughs> hey, you're supposed to say that after the challenge. Okay, so finally learning to use these um blue random tiles on the floor. Not exactly sure if I call them hidden Lockhart. Unless they're sealed under a piece of Lumos, then they're really pretty obvious. Just blue and green carpet on like brown floor, yeah. Uh, oh, come on. Don't tell me he's stuck in the gnome hole again. Oh, 
Anyway, um, unfortunately, this is one of the places where you have to knock both of these gnomes here into the gnome hole, or you can't get to a secret there. Which is very annoying, considering that there's like a wizard card in there. I think maybe two, actually. So let me just use these fancy debug ghost mode things. Thank you. And collect these beans, and... Uh... Face through the wall again. Stop making noise, Numb. You're the reason I had to do that in the first place. Um, oh no, Cauldron. God forbid we missed that. And why is there a glitched bean over there? So yeah, when you get the little thing, this will appear, and you can jump on it. And you can open that, and you can open that. So another secret within a secret, which is... Seriously? <laughs> okay. Remind me to never jump in within the animation of getting a level up and what the heck was that? Okay, this is just weird. Moving along. And I did not just miss or anything there. Moving along. Uh, yeah, there is a card there and... Alright, you know what? Stop messing up. Thank you. I believe another card in here. And... Alright, finally... Imp, the evolved form of the gnome. Anyway, I think actually there's a uh, random bit of information. Um, I believe the instruction book for this game that comes with the CD says that you use Rick to Semper on gnomes, but as far as in game is concerned, do you use Solpenda like a gnome? Or use Rick to Semper on imps rather. It's kind of funny. So I guess I would imagine that they use Rick to Semper to knock our because they are. A lot more powerful and annoying than gnomes, so imagine it would take something a little more strong than Vulpenda to take him out. So anyway, a hidden uh, challenge star in there, and move fast, will you, platform? Anyway, um, beans, yeah, just beans, no wizard card or anything. Oh well. One of these days, that thing will get over here. Thank you very much. That was way too close to be nice. Um, Alright. Saving game. And here you will see just how annoying gnome, uh, imps can be. A lot more annoying than gnomes, so... Uh, conveniently moving out of our reach, that, um, that thing is. So here you have two gnomes charging at you at once. I like the way they run. And I like the way that one got stuck um, behind the other gnome. Imp! And... Alright, so you... There's a third one behind there, which is really annoying. And unfortunately, you can't just ignore these guys if you want to get a certain secret. Ooh, I almost threw him in the hole. Um... Because, uh... Yeah, I don't think that's gonna um, go very well because I just covered up that thing. Why did I do that? Um, Alright, thanks. Now, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to restart something or another here. Because I can't throw this guy in that one gnome hole. Nobody's watching us. Nope, never did that. Uh, okay, so... You... With a little bit of fun time skip and... Um, editing out me getting hit and dumb stuff like that. When you get the third uh, gnome in the hole, then that will open up and you will get to that Lumos thing. And you can come behind here and get, guess what, another wizard card. Um, 
Alright, so now you can push this block around. Uh, not being stupid, and there's one bean on there. Should I go for it? No. Nah. And, alright, so now, um, oops, I almost fell off there. You can use a sponge fine, jump up, and get this thing here. And doing so will weigh that thing down and somehow make the bars go away. Some weird mechanics. Or some weird programming, same thing. Yes, um, yes, I can see that that's where the next challenge star is. Thank you, game. And now, um, a bit of a... If you were wondering what that thing that I made Harry go and jump down to kill himself was... Um... Unfortunately, these fire crabs are annoying because you kind of have to... Either jump down into the crossfires or fight them off from up here, which can be kind of difficult. Um... And I think they do um, get up a little bit quicker than the other one, than the, fire, the, the than the other fire crabs do. So once you knock all four of them into the traps, then that will open up. And um, whoa, we can wrangle. Be careful because you can. Uh, it is possible to jump far enough to lose health while jumping down there. Uh, all right. You know what would be kind of funny if. That was, um, if I picked up a key on that wizard card and he, because, um, I think I was midair and jumping while I picked up the card, so it would have done that weird glitch thing, um, like earlier in this challenge and Harry would have slid backwards infinitely into the bottomless pit and died again. That would have been funny, like, later and not funny while it's happening. Yeah, one of those moments. Anyway. It's just me or is um, the lighting a little bit green here? Anyway, that's a bit of a really weird secret. I had to go on the internet to find that. Um, it's a little bit strange because I only discovered that on the internet really recently. And this one, but I do believe that I've got all of the... Um, either all of the wizard cards or all the challenges... Um, no, either all the wizard cards in the game or all the secrets in the game, in the challenge, without that, so I don't know what's with that. Anyway. So you can go and, whoa, if you jump carefully enough off, the, enough off that, don't do that! You can jump up here and, whoa, yeah, that's what happens when you get bit by a pixie. And grab this fun stuff and open the secret here, but there is a better way to do that, um, involving a certain Limbo Scarborough and a certain other, uh, Sponge Fatal, and a certain potion ingredient that's just camping out up there, uh, I'm starting to get up there and the number of uh, potion ingredients I have too, hmm. Gotta find a cauldron somewhere. Whatever. Anyway, this thing. Uh, um, set him ablaze or do whatever Lumos does. Nah. And I uh, forget where I'm going with the controls and whatnot. When you jump up here, then this Spongebob tile will be revealed, and you can get up here like a normal person. Um, although I do prefer going in without the gargoyle thing. Someone's making noise outside. Um, as weird as that is, I think that's the chicken out there making noise. Anyway, so when you're done with all that, running in circles and fun stuff, you can come over here, and you can pick up that um, star, and you can pick up that save book, because it has been a while since the last save book, I think. And you can go over and do this. And... Don't get hit by the giant what's-his-face fire curve over there. And this is a bit of a random um, piece of map over there behind that fire crab. I don't really know what it's for or if it's even supposed to be something. Um, it could be another beta element or it could just be a fancy detail thing that the game designers put in. And some random chest with beans in it and some random pixies and that was not supposed to happen. Alright. Don't do that again. I'm dying way too much in this game. Um, so, 
This is a bit of a weird thing. There's an owl flying around the top of the challenge, and when you hit it with Alhamora, nothing will happen to the owl. It will just freeze midair for a minute, and you will get to open this. Um, madness. <laughs> And you're not viewing the contents of, um, I believe that's video information from a robotics competition going between the camera memory card and the hard drive. I don't know. Um, I really should have edited that out. Uh, when it gets down to it, I really should have edited a lot of stuff out, I think. But, it's a little late for that now, so this thing here... Spongify. It's sort of funny, um, you can see when you jump from that Spongify to here, you land almost immediately on the other one. So it is sort of funny if you jump the right way, you can, like, infinitely go flying back and forth between them. It's sort of funny to watch, but it only lasts a little while. Because Spongify tiles, I don't know if, um, I don't know if that's been shown in this playthrough yet, they do expire. As in... It's after like 20 seconds or something, they will, um, the bouncy stuff on them will go away. Anyway, those spiders there are annoying, and I like how the one got stuck underneath. If you, um, don't like it taken by surprise and die, uh, you can do stuff, and if you get the limos thing, you can come all the way back here and open this, and, um, some not wizard cards. I almost said it was a wizard card, so I'm glad I didn't say anything. Uh,. Potion ingredients, and that's, um, no, that's not anything important up there. No, you're imagining stuff. What the heck is this? Preparing to remove. It's really weird. Sometimes I get this random installation notices for something that I've already installed on my computer. I don't know why. Uh, not like a virus or anything, just like random software that I use. It just tells me it's installing. No, it's been installed for months. Go away. Uh, yeah. I think once it told me preparing to install Windows, but I don't know what was with that. I don't know if that really happened or if I was just imagining that. Um, alright. So, there's a certain ghosty guy in there, which you can just... If you ignore it, it will go away. Um... Well, I suppose we can just hit him with as many spells as possible. Maybe he'll do that weird glitch thing with getting stuck in the floor. Like in, um... Like in that certain episode in the dungeons. Um... You can ignore that fire crab there. I don't think you get anything if you knock him backwards into the trap. I don't think that actually is a trap that he's standing in. Um... I think that's just a caged off piece of the game and... That was not supposed to happen. Um... I've died way too many times in recent... Whoa! Oh, I've never done that before! Uh, fun! So you... Um... <laughs> just bounced off Harris head. How logical, a spider sitting on top of a spider web. Anyway, when you get rid of that, um... I don't know... Uh... I wonder what Harry would bounce off of exactly if you hit that switch thing before getting rid of the spider web. I don't actually know if you could actually hit the switch thing before getting rid of the spider web because it might be out of reach. It might be um, above the spider web. And boy am I glad that I did not fall off there because actually if you fall down to the bottom of this tower thing then it is actually not possible to get back up and you have to go and not do that. You have to go and uh... I think restart the game not save point because for some reason or another the game designers made it possible to jump like halfway up that tower thing ah I lost health but it's not possible to get all the way back up from the ground um it's really annoying now that's very fascinating
Same old, same old. Yes. So anyway, doing the speed of the challenge there and uh, editing that out. Uh, and your room is still filthy. Bye bye. I should clean my room one of these days. Uh, yeah. <sighs> again, Dumbledore, again. Yes, it does look like that, doesn't it? Let's see what else did I have this week. I've got almost twice as many points as Slytherin. Come on! Ugh. I think it would have been funny if, um, Dumbledore, like, went to point out, uh, if you are, like, obscenely ahead of Slytherin in the standings. Uh, might as well talk through this bean bars from, I guess. Oh, they really didn't have any reason for not talking through it before. But anyway, now you can get full functionality out of the bean bonus room. That wasn't really the right wording there, but... You can't get everything in it now with Spongify if you have enough um, house points in enough time. Um, and uh, um, stuff. I might be able to get everything in here right now. And that uh, really was that really was not supposed to happen. Um, let's try that again. Okay. Uh, but really, this place really isn't that interesting from the last three times. It's really not that different at all. How should we soak now from running around in that fountain? Really? Standing up around here and admiring the view and whatnot. Uh, that's it for this part of the Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets playthrough. So, rate, comment, subscribe, um, watch more, and look around and stuff. See you later!